Hey guys, Jafar here. This video will cover the patrol helicopter event, so you can successfully plan, predict, evade, or fight it. I will cover its behavior, tower design, supplies needed, expected loot, and fighting techniques. The patrol helicopter will spawn every two to four hours, and will begin to head towards the closest monument to start roaming. Once roaming, it will attack detected players with more than two pieces of clothing on, or a ranged weapon on their hotbar, not including the hunting bow. If you are out with gear, unequip your clothing and weapon to avoid the heli shooting at you. At night, the heli will only shoot at players detected within its spotlight, making it much easier to evade compared to day. The heli will break away from its roaming path if you hit or damage any part of it from any range. It will begin to fly straight towards your location and only will fly away after 30 seconds if you cannot be found. Before fighting the patrol heli, you will need to be prepared. Start with building a tower to fight the heli. A separate tower avoids your main base from taking damage or possibly being destroyed. However, if you have a well-built base and are feeling confident, you can always avoid the separate tower and fight it straight from your roof. The tower you build won't only be for taking down the heli, but also defending the loot and your teammates from other people. Therefore, it must have good visibility for not just the sky, but the surrounding terrain. Within the tower include a large bed instead of a sleeping bag for quick respawns, and many medical supplies, food, water, and spare kits with additional ammo. Prioritize medical supplies since running out could make taking down the heli very frustrating. Syringes and bandages will be your primary medical items with the use of meat or pumpkins for quick health regen. As for armor, it's recommended you have at least a full road sign kit, which yields a total of 130 projectile protection. Finally, keep some additional stone and building supplies within the base to repair any damage done by the heli to stop players from taking advantage of the opportunity. A design you should use includes a 2x2 with a triangle airlock and windows surrounding the front door helping to see if players are attempting to door camp. You can make this tower taller or shorter depending on your available resources, but a compact design includes four floors with a ramp roof for great visibility during defense. The tower features a core staircase leading up to the loot room. The loot room can fit three large beds, three large chests, six small chests, a locker, a workbench, chair, tool cupboard, and campfire. For an additional room, you can include a door frame at one of the walls at the staircase for more beds, furnaces, or chests. Above the loot room, we have the shooting floor, containing vertical metal window bars and doors to see down, which helps when shooting players or for better access to the heli. I would recommend upgrading the foundations to metal to stop players or the heli from destroying the foundations, which might compromise the stability of the tower. The overall upkeep of this tower, including all the doors, is 899 metal fragments and 4,207 stone. With the tower built and supplies ready, you can now fight the patrol helicopter. Your main job now is to listen out for it and attract it over. You have to be fast as other groups might be ready to fight the heli and grab its attention before you do. Attempt to shoot it from your tower with a bolt and high velocity bullet for improved chance of success. Once hit, it will begin to fly towards you, so be ready. When fighting the heli, it is essential to prioritize the critical hit points. The main body of the heli has an HP of 10,000. The first critical hit point, which is the main rotor, has an HP of 900. And finally, the second critical hit point, which is the tail rotor, has an HP of 500. You can either destroy the heli by dealing the 10,000 HP damage to the main body, or destroying just both critical hit points. The M249 is the best weapon to use when fighting the helicopter. However, you can only get this weapon from destroying the patrol heli, so it's not a practical weapon to recommend. The assault rifle is recommended if you can control its recoil and accuracy. The AK will deal a large amount of damage and quickly take down the heli if you land your shots. If you could land every shot on a critical point, you could take down the heli with just two mags. But my favorite is the LR300 due to its controllable recoil which lets me land more shots. The LR300 can be purchased at the Bandit Camp for 500 scrap, and with a hollow sight and laser sight becomes a laser beam. Finally, the bolt action rifle is slow but deadly, only requiring a total of 19 shots to destroy the heli if hit in the rotors. If you have a team member that is deadly accurate, the bolt action might be a good addition. 
Essentially, pick the weapon that you feel comfortable using, since the longer it takes to destroy the heli, the more your base will be destroyed. The heli has two guns it will use during the fight, which includes a machine gun and incendiary rockets. It will prioritize using the machine gun, but if it starts to quickly fly away and line up towards your base, get ready for a rain of rockets. Take cover as these rockets can easily kill you and destroy structures within your base. Once you begin to learn its behavior, you can take advantage of the movement and get some critical shots in while it's flying away. You can identify a destroyed rotor by a loud explosion followed by a large flame coming out of the heli. This means the heli is now awfully close to dying and you will only have to destroy one other rotor to completely take it down. Once the heli is destroyed, it will crash to the ground and drop four crates. They visually look like military crates but contain some of the best loot in the game. However, the loot behind them will be locked for at least three minutes while they are on fire, with some crates taking longer than others, so you will have to defend the area while you are waiting. This is where you have a teammate in the tower defending the surrounding area with a bolt action rifle while you wait down at the crates. Within the heli crate, you can expect to find C4, ammo, rockets, attachments, armor, rifles, building parts, and the M249, which is only acquired from these crates. After looting the crates and have let the heli cool down, you can use a jackhammer on the crashed heli parts to gather high quality metal, charcoal, and metal fragments. With the resources in hand, you can now return back to secure your loot. You have successfully taken down the patrol helicopter and acquired some of the best loot in the game. I hope you have learned something new from this video and has helped you take down the patrol helicopter. That's all for this video. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.